so in all seriousness, here's an application I've been working on lately called Accelerometer Disabler that basically, uh, as the name suggests, disables the accelerometer on your device. Uh, I'd be hesitant to call this an orientation lock, and you'll see why in a minute, but basically what this will do will disable the uh, screen changing uh, when you go to rotate your phone, along with pretty much any other accelerometer-related activity. So as you can see, the screen rotates in, for example, calculator and uh, the web browser, etc. Uh, and of course, different applications as well. Messaging, for example, is a you know a good place where it rotates, and some people do not want that. Uh, so this application called the Accelerometer Disabler will basically allow you to disable the accelerometer on your device. You tap the button; it says the accelerometer is now disabled. You click on that, and as you can see, nothing's moving in here anymore, which means the accelerometer is no longer reporting data. Now, if I go over to Internet Explorer and go and turn the phone, nothing happens. If I go into Calculator and turn the phone. Again, nothing happens. So what this has done is disabled the accelerometer driver on the device itself. So this didn't lock the orientation of the phone or prevent it from changing. It completely disabled the accelerometer. Uh, very simple, but still very useful. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're about to go to bed or something, you want to read an article or something, or send a message to a friend, and you don't want your phone rotating, uh, that happens. If you hate your phone rotating in all circumstances, you might as well just use this application and get it over with. Uh, of course, this will disable the acceleration in games, for example, but uh, you know that comes as a price of it. And uh, the other thing is, in order to restore your accelerometer, you'll have to reboot your phone. So you just tap the button and it restarts your phone. So it's very simple. There's not a lot of magic that goes on. There's not a lot of wizardry or anything. Uh, but it will basically disable the accelerometer of your phone. And then if you want to bring it back, you just tap the button, reboot your phone, and it works. Uh, this requires an interop unlocked device. Uh, because it has to do with drivers, and there's more details in the article on our website, windowsphonehacker.com, about this application. Thanks for watching. Be sure to let us know if you have any questions.